peace, mercy, and blessings of God be upon you. Hi. Hi. The bird is characterized by bright colors and attractive shapes. Ellie dazzled people for many years with his skill in imitating sounds. So much so that it has become one of the favorite pets of humans, and it is considered one of the most important and widespread pets. But what is his story? How can an animal pronounce letters and words simply, a skill that only distinguishes humans, excluding the rest of the creatures on earth? How does a parrot talk? I wonder if the voice he was giving off was really speech or not. For example, does a parrot have vocal cords and a larynx like a human? And if the answer is no, then how does he speak? Welcome. I am Mohammed Saleh, and in this episode of Science, we will solve a question that baffles us. We will answer the question, how can a parrot speak like a human? And before we start, if you are still new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive our videos first. Parrots are found in warm regions of the world, such as India, Southeast Asia, West Africa, Latin America, Australia, and New Zealand. The parrot still maintains its existence to this day, and only one species has become extinct, but in the early 20th century it was inhabiting the United States of America. The parrot is distinguished by its relatively large head, short neck, and hard beak. It is a perennial bird that lives for long periods, with an average lifespan of 25 to 30 years. And their large sizes can reach their age of 100 years. This is a long period of time compared to other birds. The interesting thing is that he is a very loyal creature to his wife, and the couple are inseparable from each other for life. One of the common habits of parrots is that during the female incubation period for her eggs, which is estimated at about five weeks, the male during this period brings food to his wife and takes care of her, and this is a good picture of romance between the spouses. And if you got the impression that this cute creature, creature is weak and fragile, let me tell you that you are wrong. The parrot is distinguished by great physical strength, which is greatly anchored in its beak. The great parrot has the ability to crack coconuts with simple flicks of its beak. While it is difficult for humans to open the same fruit, other than using hammers and tools designed to break it open. However, it uses its beak to make holes and cavities inside the solid tree trunks, in which to build nests and houses. Now that we know about the parrot in fasting, let's ask an honest question. Does parrot actually talk? The answer is no. The parrot does not speak. But he imitates. In fact, the parrot is not the only creature with the ability to mimic. What many people don't know is that European crows, eagles, and starlings are classified as talking birds that have the ability to mimic. But their abilities are usually limited compared to the parrot's imitation skills. Except, for the czarist bird, that's a story in itself. As we said, the parrot does not speak, but is an imitative being. He has a great ability to imitate and simulate any sound he hears. You're a great singer, yes you are, oh boy. But what is the mechanism by which parrots can imitate sounds? The brains of parrots differ in their structural structure from the brains of other birds. She has a cortex that surrounds the phonemic centers in her brain, which are responsible for imitating language. In addition to having neural connections, it helps him learn and imitate sounds. His phonemic memory also makes him able to store and mimic speech in time. But of course, not through the vocal cords or something else, but whistling. If humans have a larynx, parrots have what is known as a syrinx. Or voice box. This is the organ that helps him speak in a way that is close to human. Located in the lower part of the trachea, parrots can speak by controlling the air that flows through the respirator tube. So they make their own voices. I mean, all the sounds a parrot makes are whistling. And since he has no lips or teeth, this helps him pronounce the letters. What? I can't cry when you can't. That's so okay. Hi. However, it controls letter exits with different mechanisms. I mean, although the majority of animals make sound from the larynx without using the tongue, the parrot uses its tongue to manipulate and change the pitch of the sounds. In addition, he uses the movement of his neck to skip a certain note. <laughs> How 
How do birds have no lips and they have no teeth? Their nose is different from ours, but they have dot something that we don't in fact, parrots have a different type of voice than dot humans do. This is called a syrinx. They actually have two independent voice boxes in birds and humans, the lower respiratory tract is shaped somewhat like an inverted slingshot. The upper part is the trachea and the lower part is the lungs. These two pieces move air in and out. It's a solid sound for such a small animal but that's not the dot most impressive part parrots tend to take these noisy notes. And they pass very quickly. They are capable of producing more notes than a piano in less than a tenth of a second. They actually transition from one side of the string to the other seamlessly to make this absolutely amazing dot stretch of tones parrots are born communicators from the start, their brains are wired for speech. So when they are brought up for the first time, and they learn dot instantly. They learn from everything around them but speaking like humans is not easy. Come on! Should we chirp it out? Chirp it out. <laughs> we have our vowels A, E, I, O, U, our sign plosives in the variety of consonants we struggle for in landscapes, the rustic kind of pull off such clarity in human speech, parrots really need to show they can manipulate the shapes of their vocal tract for example, they require our lips to make up for the lack of lips, parrots use something called esophageal speech. It is almost like a burp that. Comes from inside the trachea. The force of the air repeats the blast. For vowels, where we use our lips, tongue, and jaw, researchers have actually found that parrots move their tongues back and forth and that their beak opens just to change the sound they seem to be the only birds that actually use their dot tongue as humans do to shave this off parrots have a natural desire to communicate. Come on! Should we chirp it out? Chirp it out. <laughs> How we produce sound Several parts of the body play a role in producing sound. The process of producing sound and speech is complex and plays an important role in our daily lives. The vocal folds are two bands of tissue that lie opposite each other in the larynx. The larynx is located between the base of the tongue and the upper passageway to the lungs known as the trachea. When you are not speaking, the vocal folds are open so that you can breathe in the sounds generated by the flow of air from the lungs. When it's time to speak, the pressure under the larynx increases until the vocal folds loosen. Hello. Hello. First the vocal folds are pushed apart at the bottom followed by the top and air is forced through the very narrow opening. The opening between the vocal folds is called the glottis, which opens during breathing and narrows during sound production. The pressure forces air through the vocal folds, creating suction as you exhale, and the suction pulls the vocal folds together at the bottom, followed by the top. When the air coming from the lungs passes past the vocal folds at a high speed, the vocal folds vibrate. In order to emit a typical high-pitched speech, the vocal folds and larynx must vibrate normally. How do we produce speech? Speech is produced by finely coordinated muscular movements in the head, throat, chest, mouth, nasal cavity, and abdomen. Speech development is a gradual process that requires years of practice. During this process, the child learns how to regulate these muscles to produce intelligible speech. Different parts of our nose and mouth are carefully positioned to create the sounds of speech. We place the tongue, jaw, and lips in reference to the permanent parts of the vocal tract, such as the roof of the mouth. Hello. Hello. The voice box is called the syrinx. It is located at the bottom of the trachea. Instead of just sending air through the vocal folds like we do, birds actually control the muscles on the walls of the roofs to form and produce sound. Take a look at this cardinal on a street you can actually see the noises coming right out of the box. The bird secures its neck and opens or closes its beak to improve noise, but most controls actually happen on the chain. In the wild. They establish strong bonds with their flocks, but in captivity parakeets form a social bond with you. They want to communicate with you and they have vocal anatomy dot to start mimicking you when parrots live with us. We are their flock, and dot they are determined to sing our song. Uh, 
you're a great singer. Yes, you are. Oh, boy. I mean, if he moves his neck a certain way and in a certain direction, he will get a certain tone of voice, and if he moves his neck in another direction in a different way, he will get a different pitch. And by using all these previous means combined, in addition to his ability to memorize words, he can imitate the sounds he hears, know. and repeat them again. In fact, not all parrots have the ability to imitate and make sounds. There are many types of them that look like decorative birds. She makes completely normal sounds. This is common in stores that sell birds. Unfortunately, because of these types of parrots, many embarrassing situations occur. Sometimes you find a young man standing in a bird shop, and this young man continues to talk to one of those parrots, and continues to talk to him thinking that he is one of the types that repeat sounds, then he says to the bird, say, papa, say my love. Say sugar and weird things like that. And this young man gets very angry, because the parrot does not respond to him. My friend this type does not speak. Among the most famous species that speak fluently are the African grey parrot, the Amazon parrot, the budgerigar, the Quaker parrot, and finally the Indian parrot. These types are distinguished by their ability to memorize a large number of words, and to pronounce the letters clearly and correctly. As for the species of parrots you speak of, should we go into the woods and find one, and then take it home with us? We put our hand on our cheek and kept looking at him and waiting for him to speak. Will the parrot talk, in fact it has to speak, because the parrot simply does nothing but react. It means that he is waiting for a sound to come out in front of him and the sound affects him, so he stores it and repeats it again in the form of an audible tone, which he extracts from his syrinx. One of the surprising things is that parrots in the wild do not imitate each other's voices. It is very rare for them to imitate the sound of something around them in nature. They often don't talk extensively, except only with humans. The educators do some activities and exercises to teach the parrot to speak. And for one of the easiest activities, they first select a specific word. The phone's ringing. You need to answer that. I think it's a telemarketer. Come over and grab it. What do you say? Shut up! <laughs> they want the parrot to learn it. Let the word peace be upon you, for example. The teacher records the sentence in an audio file, then plays it and keeps repeating it, bearing in mind that he leaves a period between the sentence and the sentence that follows. This is so that the parrot does not confuse, and realizes that they are two separate sentences, not one. After that, the educator plays the sound next to the parrot for a certain time. And when this parrot hears a lot of sentences, it automatically starts trying to imitate the word and repeat it. What? What is going on? This is okay. Hi. Over time, he begins to get used to the word, and he can say it in another situation without even hearing it. Parrots can, on average, memorize more than 800 words. One of the strange things is that he can associate sounds with situations. I mean, a good number of them, when they see their breeder, walk into the house, they automatically start saying hello to him, how are you? What? What is going on? This is okay. Hi. But this, of course, does not mean that he can speak. The parrot doesn't even understand what he's saying. All that matters is that the educator has become 
a custom that when someone meets him inside the door, he repeats these words. Thus, he can link the event in front of him with a specific sound, but do you wonder if the actions of this intelligent being stop when imitating sounds or not? I think we got it. We got it. That's that's that's, that's the best thing that's ever happened. Oh, you don't like those changes either, hey? That's what it needs. Another one. Parrot is highly intelligent and ranks as the best bird of all. Not only does he learn to repeat words, but he can also learn some movements and acquire many skills through teachers. A large number of videos are going around on social media, in which parrots do absolutely amazing activities. I mean, you can see a parrot driving a wheel, a parrot distinguishing colors, or a parrot imitating the sound of a telephone, water, vacuum cleaner, doorbell, and other sounds. This does not mean that they are also able to answer some questions. I mean, you meet a parrot, and his breeder takes some colored sticks and tells him how many sticks are colored red. And responds at the same time. And of course all these skills are done through training and repetition. Interestingly, the parrot is the only bird that can eat with its feet. His feet are to him as hands are to men. Not only does he use it to walk, but he also uses it to pick up things, such as food and fruits. A strange thing that has been noticed is that some parrots prefer to use one foot more than the other. With the same mechanism that humans prefer to use the right hand over the left or vice versa. One of the funny things about parrots is the relationship between them and pirates. If I ask you now to imagine the pirate, then the figure in your imagination will be as follows, a person with a wooden foot and a severed hand, and he puts a black bandage on his eye, and he is holding a sword, and the scene will not be completed except with something important, which is that the parrot that stands on the shoulder of the pirate, and the pirates always appear accompanied parrots. It is likely that the reason why the pirates are associated with the parrot is that the parrot can monitor and spy. And he can be trained to move some collectibles from one place to another. However, we cannot be sure that it was part of the pirate culture. It's just that it has been used a lot in novels and cinematic works, and today we're answering the question of how a parrot can speak like a human. And whoever enters the channel for the first time, we will answer the questions that may come to your mind in this channel. You are lying on the bed at night or during the day and you do not have sleep. And as usual, if there is a question that comes to you at night and confuses you, write it to us in the comments under the video so that we can answer it for you, and if you liked the video, do not forget to like and share. And for the people who see us for the first time, do subscribe and activate the bell so that our videos will reach you first. See you next episode, bye.